Good morning. First, I'd like to thank Congressman Murphy for being here today. I tell you what, ever since Congressman Murphy announced it taking on the Military Readiness Enhancement Act, the momentum for repeal has increased tenfold, as evidenced by the sheer number of new co-sponsors over the past few weeks. I suspect a good many members of Congress who are supportive have been waiting for just the right time to sign on to the Military Readiness Enhancement Act, and Congressman Murphy, as lead on the bill, uh, for many indicates that the time is either here or fast approaching. Let me, let me introduce myself and the speakers that we have coming up real quick. I am Jared Chapowski, a former Army Korean linguist with five years of service. The entire time I served, I was openly gay. And I can report to you that my honesty and integrity had zero negative effect on unit cohesion, combat readiness, and troop morale. Steve Vosser and Anu Bhagwati later will speak more to that perspective. Though I was more open than Alex Nicholson, who also will be speaking, I was not discharged for being gay while Alex was, which speaks to the arbitrary enforcement of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. This arbitrary enforcement can largely be attributed to the general lack of training to those who have been forced under the law to sign discharge paperwork, an experience which local veteran Joe Soto knows all too well. A poorly implemented policy with arbitrary enforcement is by definition a failed policy. Whether or not one agrees with open sexuality in the armed forces, a conversation over whether or not Don Sotel is an appropriate policy for the military is absolutely necessary. To encourage these conversations, tonight at 7 p.m. We, we will be holding a town hall style meeting at WHYY Studios. This meeting will be an opportunity for those who are opposed to repeal to voice their concerns and for those who support repeal to elucidate as to why. Whatever the outcome, the goal of this meeting and meetings like it we, we will be holding throughout the country is to at least have each side share knowledge and experience with those they may consider in opposition so that each individual can achieve an accurate cost-benefit analysis with regards to their opinion of the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell.